All right, people. So I'm uh, before I get this video started, I want to say, kind of going back to the old school way I used to make videos. I'm doing them on my iPod just for this one video because I actually got my iPad uploading another video right now, and it takes fucking forever to do it for some fucking reason. I don't know if it's, uh, if it's my iPad or the app I used to upload it, but I don't want I don't want to wait another hour until that loads. So this video might not be as great a quality as. The, the, my other videos are but I do apologize if that's the fact but the, the, the point is you could hear me talking so I mean it's not really that big a deal but I want to talk about the Pope you know saying he says that weapons manufacturers can't can't call themselves can't call themselves Christians I'm reading from a Yahoo Yahoo news headline here just a totally just, just horrible thing to say I mean, this is, you know, this pulp is fucking just horrible. Coming out with climate change bullshit, you know, and all this, you know, garbage. And now he's coming out saying that weapons manufacturers can't call themselves Christian. Are you are you kidding me? You know, you, I, I mean, this is just horrible to see a pulp, you know, supposedly the head of the Christian faith say this. And, and the horrible thing is, too, that... I've gone to a Catholic school for 12 years now. And they teach you that the Pope is infallible. Meaning he can't be wrong, which I disagree with. So that just shows you right there how corrupt the Catholic or Christian faith is. Whatever you want to call it. You know, teaching the Pope is infallible, which is not the case. And, and now he's saying, so if I manufacture a gun, which is a constitutional right, totally legal you know, that I can't be a Christian. Yeah, no wonder so many people are, you know, moving away from the Christian faith. It's because of bullshit statements like this. You know, it, it's just depressing, though, to see such a demonization of the Second Amendment. You know, it's ridiculous. You had Karl Rove saying the, uh, the way to stop gun violence is to repeal the Second Amendment, which is another wrong statement as well. And then people are like, oh, he was... He wasn't calling for a repeal of the Second Amendment. Well, I guess you could say that. But, you know, anybody would want to, you know, stop gun violence. So, yes, he was kind of calling for the repeal of the Second Amendment. You know, supposed to be this, you know, Republican conservative guy. Totally the opposite. But that's a different video that I made a few days ago. Or the, that I made. I haven't uploaded it yet, but I did make it. Uh, but, yeah, I, I mean, it's totally legal to, to make a gun to use a gun, to buy a gun, to sell a gun. It's, con it's your constitutional right, Second Amendment, probably the most famous amendment up there with the First Amendment. One and two right there, top two amendments, you know, most known. You know, if you ask anybody which two amendments, they know that's the ones they're probably going to tell you, and that's the two, in my opinion, that are most important. I think the Second Amendment, in my opinion, is the, the most important. But that, that's a side issue, again. Uh... But yeah, I mean, in, I mean, if you're manufacturing guns and giving them to criminals or you're giving them to people who you know are going to kill somebody or do harm with it, that's a different issue. But if you're making a gun or selling a gun to somebody, you know, a law-abiding citizen who's going to use it for protection or for a legal, legal reason that's not going to hurt anybody, then I don't see anything fucking wrong with that. And even if you fucking sell to somebody and you don't know, I mean that that's gonna happen. I I, I always go say that you never you're never gonna have a utopia. There's always gonna be bad shit happening in the world. It's never gonna be perfect. But we want to make it to where the bad shit is very little, very minimal. And the best way to do that is to have an open and free society. All right. So I mean, yeah, there's gonna be gun violence. That's a fact. There will be gun violence. You're never gonna have in America where the gun violence toll or the homicide number is zero. It's not going to happen, all right? But you, we can reduce that number. And the way to reduce it is to put guns into law-abiding citizens' hands so that they can stop the bad people from attacking. That's kind of common sense right there. Uh, so, um, yeah, I mean, if you're just selling guns, that's not a fucking crime. That's not immoral. That's actually, in my opinion, a very good thing to do to be giving guns to people to protect themselves all right you know and if a criminal wants to get a gun i mean he's gonna get it i mean 
he's probably going to get it illegally. And if he can't get a gun, if he wants to do harm in America, he probably can kill, kill a person. If I wanted to, I could sneak up on a person running in the night and stab him in the head. I mean, I, I could. I'm not saying I want to. I don't want to. It's a horrible thing to do. But I'm saying I could. That's what, that's what happens in a free and open society. All right, and I don't want to go on a tangent about the Second Amendment debate because I've talked about that a lot. I just want to talk about how horrible it is that the Pope is saying this, how corrupt it makes the church seem. You know, so I just wanted to talk about that. Just very depressing to see the Pope come out and criticizing. You know, it's one thing to call for gun control, which is a horrible thing in my opinion. But it's a whole other, other issue with this Pope is saying. Just horrible. It's horrible and it really... I'm like, holy shit. I saw the headline. I'm like, holy shit, is this really true? And I go and it's like in Yahoo News. Yeah, it's true. It's horrible, but it's true. But there you go, people. Pope calling for a repealment. A repeal of the second... Not, not a repeal, but he's fucking bashing the Second Amendment. Saying that if I use my Second Amendment constitutional rights, I'm basically, you know, a heretic or a non-christian just a horrible thing to fucking say and it's storming outside that's why i'm looking outside right now oh maybe maybe god's coming down on me right that's what the pope might say maybe god's fucking bringing a storm into my fucking house because i'm i'm you know promoting the second amendment you know that's probably what pope the pope would say right now pope francis yeah what a fraud he is but there you go people there's your fucking uh you know video there on the pope criticizing the second amendment